So we're in the office of Dr. Matthews. We're here to look into intercostal neuralgia to either rule it in or out. Um, because I just recently saw my pain management doctor and they told me they didn't think I had it, but we need to get it ruled out or in. We're at um, Quest Diagnostics getting blood work for Dr. Matthews. Woo! Monkey! Biscuit! No! Ah! Monkeys! Ah! Monkeys! No! Monkeys! Biscuits! Woo! Yes. Cost your good eyes, huh? Awesome, awesome. So does he think does he think that like possible um POTS, which is postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, could have anything to do with it? Like my pain management doctor was thinking. That's okay. I didn't I forgot to ask about that. That's okay. Thank you very much. I hope you have a good day. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. I'm coming. Can you open the door a little bit more? Just didn't want to yeah, that's you're no no problem. <laughs> oh, got it. Oops. You know you got it. You got it. I got it. The first one. Oh, so ah! you're gonna take a deep breath in. Okay. Hold it for a second or two, and then blow up the bag. Fill it up. Okay, so I'm gonna take a breath and then blow it up, and then blow. Okay. Cool. Am I not using this for that? No. <laughs> okay. I was like, what is this for? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <You're so> like... <laughs> I'm gonna put this lap, the, the lap in my lap. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so blow. Awesome. You can fell at a breath test? Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know what? I tell people how to do it. And then all of a sudden it's like. Okay, so how do I do this again? Yeah. Like That's why I always make sure. Is this? Seriously, you do it the best. Thanks. Yeah. So, when it stopped though, it kind of felt a little weird. Really? Mm-hmm. Because, well, I think that, like, I don't know if you've ever smoked, but they have these little things that you can blow into, that, like, when you smoke, um, once you blow into it, it, the smoke doesn't come out anymore. It has charcoal in it, activated charcoal in it, and they have these bags that look like that. They're if you close. explain it to my husband, he would because mm -hmm. he's a smoker. Okay, so for this one, you're gonna use a straw and drink. And it's not just it water, is it? It's it's a little tart. It's like a sweet tart. Can I just chug it like it's vodka? <laughs> is that not so I'm supposed hey, to say it? Whatever you want to do. I'll, I'll <laughs> see, we'll see. I don't want to do this. Yeah, you might not want to smell it. I can't smell anyway. Oh, you can't? <sighs> I think that's why they give you the straw. So that way, that might be one. It doesn't taste as bad as I thought it was. Yeah, it's just it's kind of like tart. tart, but it's like gritty, but not gritty. Oh, okay. Hey, so I've been home for a few days now. I didn't record anything because I wasn't feeling very well. Um, and so I just rested like I needed to. But, um, as you saw in the phone call that I had, um, briefly, um, they did tell me it's costochondritis and that it's not intercostal neuralgia. But they answered a little bit more complicated than that. Um, Dr. Matthews does not have a comment about it being related to POTS, but my, um, pain management doctor thinks it is related with it and he works a lot with POTS and so I trust him and so as I said in my last video we are um, getting referred over to the heartbeat clinic and I have all the feels about that um, there's so many feelings I don't really even understand them feel full fully I can't talk the problem is with my tummy though we don't know what's wrong with it we're thinking um, it's gastroparesis but we're not confirmed on that yet um, and trying to get into a gastrointestinal doctor for some reason is proving to be extremely fucking hard. We're working on it, it just takes a while. For some reason, she won't leave a message on my phone when she has permission. Like, you know, you have to sign that HIPAA form or whatever. I give them permission to leave 
um, a detailed message on my phone because there's a lot of times I'm not going to answer it whether I'm in another doctor's appointment or I'm sleeping or whatever it is. Sometimes I've been like throwing up when somebody's called me and you can't answer the phone when you're throwing up. There's like a million reasons why I can miss a phone call and that's why I have that where they can, you know, tell me shit so that I'm not like calling for the information and then, yeah, it saves time. For Anyway, she's not doing that, so it's taking a little bit longer than it normally does. So, um, which really sucks because I'm in a lot of pain. I do have a cream, which, let me show you. I do have a cream, which is this stuff that I've been putting on my chest. And it does help a little bit. That's kind of why I'm shirtless right now. Um, but it, it has to be constantly on my chest, basically. Um, and you can't go out in public without a shirt, so... It's not practical, and um, I'm using way more than they're telling me to use, which the area is just so big. Like, they have this little card. I don't know if I've told you about it, but they have this little card that they want me to squeeze it out on. Not, like, it's not a realistic fix. It's a constant lamb. Like, every half hour, I'm applying it, basically, um, to my chest, and it has some kind of, like, inflammation medication in it. And I have pills for it, but the problem is I can't keep them down. That's why I need to go to a gastroenterologist. But we're slowly but surely getting answers. I'm feeling very validated about the whole chest pain. For a long time, Dr. Cancello just ignored it. And um, I was worried I wasn't going to be able to find a doctor. So I'm glad we are at least know what part of it is now. So yay for some partial answers. So um, I hope you had an amazing day. Thank you for staying alive. Remember, you know your body better than anybody else, so please listen to it, and I love you. Bye.